Hello everybody, my name is Norma and on hot summer days like this, you're gonna see most people carrying around a Fat Tuesday and as yummy as they are, I find so much more joy in a refreshing cold beer. And as much as I love Coronas, Heineken, or Guinness, today I'm gonna show you beers that are more unique and created in Las Vegas. So make sure you bring your ID because today I'm gonna take you to Vegas' best breweries. In between the Las Vegas Strip and the downtown Fremont Street, we have this little area known as the Arts District. This very vibrant area is full of restaurants, bars, antique shops, and this cool little brewery known as Abel Baker. They're still pretty new since they just opened up in summer of 2019, but with over 30 beers on tap and a food service kitchen, they're doing really good. In case you're wondering about the name, this brewery is named after two atomic bombs, Abel and Baker. They were the first two to be detonated in the former Nevada test site, which is only about 65 miles away. But enough about history, let's try some beer. I'm gonna try two total opposite beers. The first one is a Hefeweizen, which is one of my favorites. Here it's called the Calatron Girl. And the second one is a brown ale called the Double Barrel Chris Kale in Pale Dale. I know, it's a lot to say. I'm gonna put as much information as I can about each beer, including the ABV, which is the alcohol by volume, and the IBU, which is the International Bitterness Unit Scale. Just so you can get an idea, a Corona is 4.6% ABV with a 22 IBU, and a Guinness is 4.5% ABV with a 45 IBU. So they're about the same in alcohol content, but the Guinness is scaled to be twice as bitter as the Corona. I love fruity beers like this one. However though, I don't necessarily like the word fruity because then you're just gonna assume it's gonna be sweet like a cider, even though it's not. But I still really like that it's very citrusy, kind of like an orange or a lemon. I'm kind of nervous to try this one because of their high ABV. This one though is their regular impaled ale, but it's just re-aged for five months longer in a bourbon barrel. So it's described to have that bourbon flavor along with rye and dark cherry. Oh wow. <laughs> I know it's not in the description, but this kind of almost had like a very chocolatey finish for me. Um, but for all you stout fans, I think this is the one for you. If you happen to be in downtown Fremont Street, this is one spot you can't miss. All right, you might miss it, but that's only because Heart Attack Row pulls all focus with this big shiny sign and the weight scale, but don't forget to turn your head slightly to the left to find it. I truly love this brewery because it feels like a little escape from all the crowds and all the craziness on Fremont Street that's just on the other side of that glass. What's so unique is that they have a $5 happy hour every day between 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and then again from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And in Las Vegas, it's very rare to find a happy hour on the weekend. All right, let's get down to business. As I've said, I love Hefeweizens, but this place doesn't just have a regular old Hefeweizen. They have El Jefe. El Jefe was made with a twist because in the process, it was roasted with chiles such as habaneros, serranos, and jalapenos. So you are gonna get that slight mild heat along with that pepper flavor and aroma. The spice level is very mild, but make sure you read the description when you get this beer, really any beer, because on this case, you thought you were gonna get a regular old half, but you get quite a surprise when you have your first sip. Watermelon is my absolute favorite fruit, so all year I wait for summer to try their seasonal watermelon beer known as the Sandia. This is so refreshing and you can definitely taste the watermelon in there. I'm just so sad that summer is about to end. For this location, I am gonna go ahead and try a third one, but look how small it is. <laughs> a lot of flavor in that one shot. Uh, to all my IPA fans, I think you're gonna like this one, but I think just one shot's good enough for me.
We are here at Tenaya Creek, which is one of the most successful and one of the longest running breweries in Las Vegas since they have been here since 1999. Not only will you find their beer at the brewery, but you'll see it all over Las Vegas, including restaurants, bars, liquor stores, grocery stores, and even the casinos. When choosing your beer, you have the option of getting a 5 ounce, 10 ounce, 16 ounce, and even a 20 ounce, so you can get as little or as much of your favorite beer. They do have both indoor and outdoor seating, but my favorite is sitting in this viewing area because you get to see all the fermenters and the behind the scenes action. Naya Creek also has an amazing happy hour. It's every day from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then once they get back to their normal schedule, they'll have it also from 10 p.m. till 12 a.m. All right, trying my last Hefeweizen of the day. This is a really good Hefeweizen. Now, if you're not a beer drinker or let's say you've never had beer, I always say Hefeweizen is a good starter beer because it's not too bitter, not too strong, and you're not gonna have too much of an overwhelming taste. I also ordered their seasonal Oktoberfest beer since they did just make it so it is very fresh and because we can't go to Germany right now, so this is gonna have to do for now. Mm. Oh wow. I don't know if it's because it's so fresh or it's just the way that they make their beer, but this flavor really pops. Yeah, if I was in Germany right now, I'd be having this with a pretzel and some mustard. Or cheese. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe down below. Let me know if there's any other breweries that are your favorites or even what's your favorite beer. Um, all I ask is please drink responsibly. But again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Watermelon is my absolute favorite. Not beer, God. Jeez. <laughs> this cool little brewery known as Abel Baber. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one is a brown ale called the Double Barrel. <laughs> second one is a brown ale called the Double Barrel Chris Kale. What? <laughs> you can just have any like. <laughs> Why? Cold, refreshing beer. <laughs> Uh, okay. And cutie. And cutie. <laughs> and the IBU, which is the international. What? <laughs> Bitterness <laughs> unit. <laughs> okay. El Jefe was made with a twist because, in the process, it was. El Jefe was made with a twist because, in the process, it was roasted with chiles like jalapeno. <laughs> I try to like put all the words together. <laughs> Ooh. Summer, so I got. Ah. Here at tonight, <laughs> every time, <laughs> from 10 p.m. till 12. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm.